These little guys are puffballs, genus Lycoperdon, and puffballs are all edible at the young stage up until they sort of get hollow and form little puff balls that puff out the spores. So right now they're solid inside and quite delicious. There's not a whole lot of mushrooms in my research that I read the American Indians would eat, but this is definitely one of them. It was eaten by the Iroquois, Kiowa, Menominee, and Omaha. The Kiowa baked them, for example. They had some interesting medicinal uses as well. Since the spores are very easy to obtain, since they're already in a sack, they're used as a styptic or a hemostatic, so used to stop bleeding or running sores. Specifically, one practiced by the Kiowa and the Dakota would be to stop the bleeding on the cut umbilical cord. In fact, the Dakota name calls it baby's navel in reference to that. And the Northern Cheyenne also used it like that, and the Northern Cheyenne also used it as a baby powder in general. So these guys are a little bit too small. I'm gonna wait till they get bigger before I'd harvest them. But there's some other bigger ones right here. These are still relatively small as well as puffballs go. They can get seriously as big as a basketball and I don't expect these to get too much bigger before they start generating spores because they're already a little bit aged here. We've gotten very little rain in a while. We just finally got a few thunderstorms, so I, I doubt they're gonna be getting much bigger than this, but I'll return to this patch year after year. They will be re-sprouting from this patch. I'd have to look that up, what they're actually feeding upon in the soil here. Oh, there we go, yeah. So when they're fully sawed like that, they're good to eat. I'm gonna take this home and cook it. <laughs> it's a tiny little snack.